okay in this video tutorial I will define kernel of a linear mapping and image of a linear mapping in the previous video I was discussed about what is linear mapping or linear transformation now what is kernel of a linear mapping suppose there exists a linear mapping or linear transformation T maps V to W means some elements of the set V has images on the set W here V is called domain set and W is called codomain set among the elements of capital V suppose alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 etc are those elements whose images is exactly theta dash now what is theta dash theta dash is the null element of the set w and theta is the null element of the set v means theta dash is the null element of the codomain set w so we have some elements of the set capital v whose images is theta dash then the set of those elements so we can say there exist few elements from the set capital V and the images of those elements be theta dash that is T of alpha 1 is theta dash T of alpha 2 is theta dash T of alpha 3 is theta dash and T of alpha 4 is theta dash I have considered here only four elements it may be more or less now alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 alpha 4 made a subset of the set capital V this subset is known as kernel of the mapping T and it is denoted by car T so what is car T? car T is a subset of the domain set V of which the images of each and every element is theta dash or the null element now let us define this definition by a suitable example a mapping T maps R3 to R3 is defined by T of x1 x2 x3 equals to x1 plus x2 plus x3 comma 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 comma x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 so find Carty and dimension of Carty as we know Carty belongs to the domain set here the domain set is R3 only and the codomain set is also R3 since 0 0 0 is the null element of R3 what is R? R is the set of real numbers 3 means each element of R3 has three components first component 0 second component 0 third component 0 so this is the null element so each and every element of car t has unique image in r3 that is 0 0 0 so to prove this or to find the car t let car t equals to x1 x2 x3 belongs to r3 means x1 x2 x3 these three are all real numbers and this x1 x2 x3 is one element of car t so that linear transformation of x1 x2 x3 is 0 0 0 according to definition now what is t of x1 x2 x3 t of x1 x2 x3 is x1 plus x2 plus x3 comma 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 comma x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 so i've written here in place of t x1 x2 x3 this thing and according to this definition the right hand side is 0 0 0 okay so by comparing we get x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals to 0 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 equals to 0 and x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 equals to 0 now we have to solve this homogeneous system of linear equations with three unknowns x1 x2 x3 you may apply any method means Kramer's rule matrix inversion method but I suggest you should apply row elementary method because this row elementary method is very helpful for different different methods or different different 
problems which all are included in your syllabus i have not here i did not show here the procedure to solving this because i know that or i already discuss in my previous videos about row elementary techniques so i just do it in rough and write down here the result here the result is x1 x2 x3 equals to k minus 1 0 1 means the system of linear equation has infinitely many solutions and this represents the solutions where k is any real number means if we write here k equals to 0 the result will be 0 0 0 if i write here 1 the result will be minus 1 0 1 if we write here 2 the result will be minus 2 0 2 etc 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 now see x1 x2 x3 is a uh, uh, x1 x2 x3 is an arbitrary element of carty which can be expressed by the help of minus 1 0 1 also minus 1 0 1 is the only element on the right hand side so we can say as x1 x2 x3 is the arbitrary element of the kernel t of the set carty and minus 1 0 1 expressed x1 x2 x3 whatever value the value of x1 x2 x3 so carty is the linear combination uh, sorry means every element of carty can be expressed as a linear combination of minus 1 0 1 in other words we can say minus 1 0 1 can span the whole set carty and it is written as carty equals to linear span of second bracket minus 1 0 1 this is the result or this is carty also this linear span set has exactly one element and as it contains one element one element always linear independent so this set has a dimension 1 that is dimension of carty is 1 okay so this is our carty next is image of a linear mapping it is very important image of a linear mapping since carty belongs to capital v means carty is a subset of capital v image of a linear mapping which is denoted by mt is a subset of w suppose alpha 1 has image t of alpha 1 alpha 2 has image t of alpha 2 etc etc these all images will form a subset of w in other words we can say the elements which has pre images in v will form a subset of w this subset is called image of t or mt in the previous or earlier classes we know that all the elements which have E pre images in V form a subset of W that subset is called range set of W means the set range set and image of T is equivalent here image of T is denoted by MT or W here we also discuss this by an suitable example actually to define MT or to find MT and dimension of MT I consider the previous example only in the previous example I have uh, show how to define or how to find carty and dimension of carty in the same example I will show you how to find MT and dimension of MT just remember one thing MT is a subset of W and carty is a subset of V now let MT equals to T of alpha such that alpha belongs to R3 because here the right hand side or codomain set is a set of real numbers R3 since MT belongs to R3 the right hand side we choose any arbitrary element j belongs to mt just remember in carty we consider x1 x2 x3 as an in, uh, arbitrary element of carty here i have chosen j j belongs to mt now j belongs to the right hand set means the codomain set so definitely j will be x1 plus x2 plus x3 comma 2x1 plus x2 plus 2x3 x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 because you see the definition this is the right side set that is codomain set and this element this element is from domain set this element is from domain set and this element is from codomain set and this is our mapping 
which maps this element to this element. So as MT belongs to the right hand set or domain uh, codomain set, so definitely MT will be like this. Okay. Now I just split these elements in three such elements x1, then x1, 2x1, x1, then x2, x2, 2, uh, 2x2, then x3, 2x3, and x3. From the first bracket, I just taken uh, x1 as common, remaining is 1, 2, 1. From the second one, x2 is common, 1, 1, 2, and from the third one, x3 is common, remaining is 1, 2, 1. So, C, J can be expressed as a linear combination of 1 to 1, 1, 1, 2, 1 to 1. But here you see carefully that 1 to 1 and 1, uh, 1 to 1 is repeated, right? 1 to 1 is repeated. So, we just consider 1 to 1 once, not twice. Means, J can be expressed as a linear combination of 1 to 1 and 1, 1, 2, right? Therefore, we can write mt equals to linear span of 1 to 1 comma 1 1 2 because j is an arbitrary element of mt and 1 to 1 comma 1 1 2 express j in some linear way therefore in other words we can say any element of mt can be expressed as a linear combination of 1 to 1 1 1 2 so this is the definition of linear span so mt is linear span of 1 to 1, 1, 1, 2. Now, 1 to 1 and 1, 1, 2 are linearly independent. In my earlier videos, I also discussed about linear dependence and linear independence. So, do, uh, do this by yourself that 1 to 1 and 1, 1, 2 are linearly independent. If they are linearly independent, then the dimension of this set will be 2. So, just write down dimension of empty equals to 2. Suppose 1 to 1 and 1 1 2 are linearly dependent. If they are linearly dependent then the dimension will be 1. Okay. As they are linearly independent so dimension is 2. So this is the concept of Carty and empty. So what is Carty? Carty is a subset of the domain set V which contains those elements whose images is nothing but null set which belongs to the codomain set. MT is the set, no sorry, MT is the subset, MT is the subset of the codomain set which contains those elements whose P images exist in the domain set V. In other words, we can say CART is a subset of V and MT is a subset of W. The dimension of CART and the dimension of W are related in a very important theorem. In my next video, I will discuss about dimension of Carty and dimension of empty and that important theorem. Thank you.